Rasky Bear Line Strategic Communications. I run the Energy and Environmental Group there, and I work with a lot of renewable energy companies. Great. And, um, you know, sort of President Obama has called for the doubling of renewable energy in three years. How do you personally or your organization um, help make that dream really into a reality? Well, one of the things that we do is we help people tell their story. And renewable energy is something, although a lot of people uh, like it, but they don't know a ton about it. And really, when it comes into their lives, they're really not sure what to think about it, whether it's going to be a biofuels plant that might be going up or a wind farm. So what we do is we work with renewable energy companies and help them get their story out there so people understand what they're doing, why it's a good idea, and we make it happen. And for, you know, those who aren't professionals, um, what's the best way that they can sort of push this communication uh, message across to other people? Um, what's some take-home message that you could give us? Well, first thing is educate yourself. Learn about the project, learn about what the benefits are. Uh, think about some of the concerns that might be voiced out there in the neighborhood and uh, take a look at them. See if they're real. Talk to your neighbors. Talk to your neighbors about the benefits and why it's a good idea. I think wind farms are a very, uh, a very good example of, of some of the uh, resistance that you can run into. I think a lot of the American public haven't made up their minds yet about how they feel about a wind farm being in their town. Some people think uh, they're beautiful and aesthetic and they provide clean renewable energy and other people, they're not sure what, how they shake out on it. So if you're a fan, get out there, talk to your neighbors and make it happen. Great. Thank you, Mr. Cabot. The voice of truth. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Certainly.